themselves or feeding their faithful four-legged companion. And even more difficult is the choice at times they have to make to give up their pet. CBS Local 2's Jennifer Daniels introduces us tonight to a new program that is keeping pets and their owners together and well-fed. It's a win-win-win, or a trifecta of sorts, born out of necessity. The Friends of the Palm Springs Animal Shelter's Pet Food Bank impacts more than just dogs and cats. People love their pets, and I, I think a lot of times people don't understand that that people going through hard times love their pets just as much as we love our pets. With a desire to help financially struggling or homebound pet owners, the Pet Food Bank opened its doors in January. We felt like we were having way too many animals surrender to our shelter due to the fact that people were going through some hard times and couldn't afford to feed their pets. Currently, the bank supports two charitable programs, Mizell Senior Center's Meals on Wheels and AIDS Assistance Program providing pet food for 137 dogs and 78 cats. But those numbers are expected to rise as more people learn about the food bank and other organizations request help. The Pet Food Bank survives on community donations of food or money. And to give you an idea just how far your donation could go, this 35-pound bag of dog food would feed a large dog for about 10 days and a small dog for about five weeks. Right now, the Pet Food Bank gives away a ton of dog food a month. And this is where the project finds its third win. Schools and social clubs are embracing the food bank by holding pet food drives as their community outreach. Because everybody loves animals. And most people are able to put themselves, at least psychologically, in the situation of what if I had to give my pet up because I couldn't feed it. So people are willing to, to put forth a little bit so that other people won't have to. The Pet Food Bank needs food to reach its 3,000 pounds a month goal. If you'd like to plan a food drive or make a donation, visit CBSLocal2.com for more information. Jennifer Daniels, CBS Local 2, Palm Desert.